10 Mysterious Evidence That Prove Time Travel Exists. Hey, McFly! What do you think you're doing? Since ancient times, people tried to explain numerous miraculous things that exist on our planet. Many people to this day do not believe that one can travel through time, but the physicists seem to not agree with them. Even Albert Einstein claimed that people can take a trip through time. He recognized time travel as an idea that could be applied to his theory of relativity. The majority of such things have yet to be explained scientifically. However, there are still some phenomena that are hard to believe. We, and smart as the new sexy, believe that our adventure through time has taken the most serious turn. Let's look closely at 10 best examples it actually exists. Ten, the man from the year 2256. In 2003, according to Weekly World News Post, the FBI arrested a man accused of Security and Exchange Commission's violations. He was charged with making 126 high-risk stock trades. Every single trade he made was successful. Having only $800 as an initial investment, he earned $350 million through his numerous deals. After being arrested, he was interrogated by the police. Andrew said that he received the data from the future, and being a traveler from 2256, he knew all the information about stock trades. He took advantage of it. When asked, he refused to tell the location of the time machine for fear that the technology of the future could end in the wrong hands. FBI couldn't trace the origins of the man before 2002. No one knew where he came from. In 2003, a stranger paid a bail of $1 million for him, and Andrew Carlson was released. He didn't attend a court meeting where his lawyer was waiting for him, and disappeared since then. Nine, the mystery of the 1940s time traveler. This photograph is also known as a modern hipster photograph. It was among the first ones that started all these time traveling rumors. 70 years after the photo was taken, it took on a life of its own. Conspiracy theorists spun arguments for the existence of time travel. Photography enthusiasts disputed the photo's authenticity. This photo shows people attending the reopening of the South Forks Bridge in British Columbia in 1941. Among the crowd stands a man who is dressed absolutely not accordingly to 1940s fashion. You can spot a zipped hoodie, a t-shirt with a 21st century style logo, and a portable camera in his hands. Some people are sure he was a time traveler caught on film. 8. Sir Goddard's Squadron One of the famous photos still promoted as a real piece of photographic evidence for time travel is known as the Ghost of Goddard's Squadron. Allegedly, the spirit of a dead chap named Freddie Jackson. In the top row, if you look closely, you'll see that behind one of the sailor's head is a ghostly face. The photo album of Sir Goddard's squadron who fought in the World War I contains one strange photograph. After the development of the photo, all the squad members recognized a person standing in the back row as their friend, Freddie Jackson, who died two days before the picture was taken. The squadron was photographed on the day of Freddie's funeral. However, he wouldn't miss the squadron photo.
7. The 17th Century Astronaut The new cathedral of Salamanca in Spain has a great surprise within its walls for those who seek the evidence that time travel exists. There is a sculpture of an astronaut on one of the pillars inside the cathedral. It was constructed between the 16th and 18th centuries in two styles, late Gothic and Baroque. However, this sculpture has nothing to do with both of these styles. How did it appear? The figure anticipates with amazing accuracy a form of technology not realized until centuries later. Interesting to know that the suit of the space traveler looks exactly like modern versions of what they wear in space. Does traveling back in time really exist? Or maybe there's another clue to this mystery. So far, no one knows exactly how it appeared there. 6. The Time Traveler I'm telling you, you shouldn't be here. In 1950, a 20-year-old man with mutton-chop sideburns and Victorian-era duds appeared in Times Square. Witnesses said he looked startled and disoriented, and then a minute later, he was hit by a taxi and killed. The officials at the morgue searched his body and found the items in his pockets that showed no signs of aging. A copper token for a beer worth five cents, bearing the name of a saloon, which was unknown even to older residents of the area. A bill for the care of a horse and the washing of a carriage, drawn by a livery stable on Lexington Avenue that was not listed in any address book. About $70 in old banknotes. A business card with the name Rudolph Fence and an address on Fifth Avenue. When the police searched for some data about Fence, they found out that the man had disappeared in 1876. Spooky, huh? Maybe he didn't disappear, but travel to the future through time. Five. The Man from Torrid One of the most perplexing events of the 20th century happened in July 1954 at Haneda Airport, Tokyo. At the customs, a neatly dressed middle-aged Caucasian man told officials he was on a regular business trip. His primary language was French, yet he spoke Japanese and several other languages. He possessed a variety of currencies from various European countries in his wallet. When the officials asked him for his country of origin, things became mysterious. He stated that he was from Torrid, that is situated on the border between France and Spain. According to him, it existed for more than a thousand years. The officials told him that it didn't exist, but he presented them with his passport that also showed visa stamps, proving his previous business travels to Japan and other countries. The company he was having a meeting with never heard of him, although he had copious amounts of documentation to prove his point. The hotel had no reservation for his name. The customs officials gave a room for the man, but the next morning everything got worse. The man completely vanished from the room, as well as his personal things from the airport security room. Could this be a time traveler from another dimension? Four, Adidas sneakers on a 1,500-year-old mummy. The discovery of the first complete Turkic burial in Central Asia revealed a 1,500-year-old mummy wearing the shoes that look very much like a pair of Adidas sneakers. COVID museum researcher B. Sukbatar says, We can date the burial by the things we have found there, also the type of hat. It gives us a preliminary date of around the 6th century AD. In April 2016, the fashion-forward mummy was found wearing a pair of knee-high felt boots that are striped with a black and red pattern, featuring leather soles and decorative buckles. Along with her body, they also discovered a mirror and a clutch bag. 
Now, scientists have discovered that the mummy suffered a significant blow to the head before her death. Could this be an unlucky time traveler trying to come back and died trying? We'll never know. But we know for sure that this mummy had style. And apparently liked to go running. 3. A Plane from the Future In 1935, Air Marshal Sir Robert Victor Goddard examined an abandoned airport in Edinburgh, Scotland. And there, he experienced his fair share of supernatural. On the way home, he got into a storm and had to go back to the airport for shelter. He passed over an airfield in Dram, Scotland. The old airport seemed very lively and operational. He could see mechanics and four planes, each painted yellow, sat on the runway. On the landing strip, he saw a plane he hadn't seen before, although he was familiar with most of the plane types of that time. He stated that RAF had none of these airplanes in 1935. Four years later, Goddard was sent to that airport again. He saw the same airplane that he'd been unable to recognize in 1935. The model was called Miles Magister. The production of this model began in 1937, almost three years after Goddard saw it for the first time. Is it possible that he visited the future for several hours and returned back in his time? Two, a time portal in Versailles. In 1911, Moberly and Jourdain published a book that caused a sensation and was subject to much ridicule. Charlotte Anne Moberly and Eleanor Jourdain, the two authors of the book, claimed that they traveled in time while visiting the Palace of Versailles. It should be noted that they both work at St. Hugh's College in Oxford, so their words should be taken seriously. On the 10th of August, 1901, they traveled by train to Versailles. While walking through the gardens, they missed a turn and found themselves on an unfamiliar path. At this point, they claimed that a feeling of oppression and dreariness came over them. Moberly and Jourdain saw people working in the garden, walking beside them, but the dresses appeared to be old-fashioned. There was also a man who slowly turned his face which was marked by smallpox. The expression was evil and yet unseeing, and they did not feel that he was looking particularly at them. After this, they approached the main entrance and joined their group of visitors. Several months later, they decided to write their encounters separately and compare. Every piece of memory was the same. On their next visit to Versailles, they didn't experience anything similar. According to their portrayal of a man, he looked very similar to Marie Antoinette's close friend. In their book, both ladies claimed that they had more paranormal experiences after the incident. Could this be a time slip they got caught into and saw ghosts from the past? One, the Hutton Brandt Premonition. In 1932, journalist J. Bernard Hutton and photographer Joachim Brandt went to the Hamburg Altona shipyard area to do a report. They saw a glimpse of the future during their routine assignment. They came back scared and shocked, telling everyone about the air attack on the city of Hamburg. Brandt claimed he took photographs of the place mind that the war didn't start for another seven years. However, when he developed the photos, there was nothing on them, neither the signs of an air raid nor any other kind of attack. Eleven years later, Hutton read information in a London newspaper about the bombing of Hamburg called Operation Gomorrah. We don't know if it was a coincidence, but Hutton claimed that he saw exactly the same attack in 1932.
Are you fascinated by our stories of time slips and interdimensional portals? Share your thoughts about wild time anomalies and time wraps in the comments section below.